Hi, this is Chris Hendren from Oceanside Photo and Telescope. I'm going to be doing a short video on how to pre-process raw images for wide field astrophotography. Now, I took these images with a Canon camera and a wide angle lens, but this information is applicable to any DSLR that Adobe has the raw conversion data for. So this allows you to do basic quick pre-processing on images where you maybe didn't shoot flat frame calibration or it's difficult because of how large a section of sky you're talking about. I have everything preloaded here and what I'm going to do is just select the CR2 files which are the Canon RAW files. These images here were straight from the camera and you can load them into a special raw converter module here as you see. All the images are visible here on the left side and the current image you're working on becomes visible in the middle here. You also have a series of sliders here where you can affect the images before you get them into any more processing. Make sure anything we do applies to all images. So I hold the shift key and click, and you can see it highlights all of the images here. That means that if I click on any image and I adjust a slider here, the temperature slider, it affects all images the same. That's important because as you shoot, you're going to get different levels of light pollution as you're coming out of a light dome or going into a light dome, and you're going to have lighting characteristics change through the night. So very simply, I'm gonna break this down. The first thing we go to is the lens corrections. If you go to enable lens profile corrections, it actually preloads them. It knows I had a Canon camera, it knows I have an 85 millimeter f1.8 lens, and it automatically corrects distortion and vignetting. I don't even have to adjust it. All I have to do is click this on or off and you can see the difference. So we want that to apply to everything. I then go to this detail one. I then adjust the luminance noise reduction to clean up the images. I usually use a setting of 25 and I slide the color setting up to 50. Now, this allows you to clean up darker areas of the image in comparison using zero. There's still grain there that's visible. Going up to 25, that noise is smoothed out right here. Lastly, I do an adjustment for exposure. Using the histogram up here, we want to dim the exposure a little bit. And then I adjust clarity, which is a useful tool for improving contrast. At this point, you're pretty much ready to go. And you want to go down to the Save Images tab. Before you do, make sure you have your settings to 16-bit per channel. And make sure you are going to be saving as a TIFF file, uncompressed. So just choose the selection you want to use to save them. Hit OK. You'll notice it updates here down at 16-bit. And then you click Save Images and Go. And that will then save all of these as TIFF files in the same folder and allow you to then stack them using the stacking program of your choice. All right, that's all for today, and thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please contact us at optcorp.com or email us here at opt at optcorp.com and let us know your processing questions or your astrophotography equipment questions, and we will be here to assist you. Thank you very much. 
Hey, this is Stephen Hendren from Oceanside Photo and Telescope. Hope you found this video both fun and informative. If you're still interested in expanding your astronomy knowledge, we have one video here on how to collimate a TPO RC telescope, and another video on how to do simple image processing from start to finish. This video that you watched is part one of three in a series. We'll be posting parts two and three on Friday and Monday, respectively. Be sure to keep an eye on this channel by subscribing. Don't be afraid to give a like, comment, and share this video with all of your friends. Have a nice day and keep looking up.